to talk about nail trimming today. Well, actually, we're going to talk about nail handling because most people have trouble with nail trimming because their dog doesn't like to have their feet handled. So instead of, instead of using three or four people to hold your dog down to trim their nails, um, let's go backwards a little bit and, to, and, and get your dog used to just having his feet handled because it's going to be really hard to trim their nails if they don't like having their feet handled. Schooner here um, was really good with nail trims and feet handling until he got, a, um, he, got, he got a little wart in between his toes and we were really fooling with it a lot just to examine it and have the vet look at it. So then he got really touchy with his feet and now his nails are way overdue to be trimmed. So I'm gonna show you with a dog who is, does not like to have his nails trimmed, how, how we're gonna start with that. So my first thing is I've got some really good, I've got um, cheese and I've got summer sausage. That's real, that you can eat, that is delicious. So, I mean, it's stuff that I would eat. And as you can see, Scooter's wondering why I'm eating his treats. So what we're gonna do first, I want you to just touch the paw. If they let you do that, you just feed them. This is a hard one, I think, to use a clicker with because you need too many hands. So I'm touching his paw, he gets a treat. An alternative to the clicker is you can use a, a voice marker. Well, I use yip, so um, when I touch his foot and he lets me, yip, and then I give him his treat. And then I touch his foot, yip, and I give him a treat. So that eliminates the need for the clicker because um, you just, you need an extra hand and it's just not, it's not feasible. So I'm gonna touch his paw, yip. He's a little touchy about this outside paw, I'm not sure why. So you see, I'm not squeezing his paw. I'm really, I'm just touching it. If he wants to pull it away, that's fine. He can pull it away. Yep. Try to get some sausage in there. Maybe sausage is more valuable. So I'm not picking up the paw. If he wants to pull it away, that's fine. We're not making him do anything. It's not, I don't think it's fair to make a dog do stuff. Just try to touch a toenail. Yip. As long as I get that yip in there before he pulls his paw away, I can give him a treat. So we went from easy to trim nails to this, wow, don't touch me at all. Um, so that's fine. I just have to start back at the beginning. You gonna give me that? Are you you gonna give me that? Yep. And I would, I'm gonna work here until he is comfortable with me putting my paw, putting, putting my hand on his paw. Yep. That's so gross. Interestingly enough, this paw here is the one that has the wart between the toes, and he has no problem with me touching this one. Yep. It's that outside one, so I'm not sure what's going on. Yep. So to show you the next step, I'm going to use this paw here because he's, for some reason, a lot more comfortable with me handling that. So I can touch the paw. Yep. So I want you to do one of two things. You're either going to add more time that you're touching it. So 1,001, 1,002. Yep. You're either going to do that or you're going to touch it very briefly, but squeeze just, just a little bit of pressure. Yep. So I just squeezed his paw just a little bit, just a little. Yep. And it was very quick. So you're either going to do longer duration, 1001, 1002, yep. without any pressure whatsoever, or real quick, a little bit of pressure. Yep. Good boy. He's free to get up anytime he wants. He can leave and end this session. So that's the other thing. He's not, I'm not forcing him to be here and, and lay on the floor with me. I did give him a nice comfy bed. Um, what is going on with this ball? Um, and I've got really high value treats. But other than that, um, he, he can leave whenever he wants. So this is really the basics of how you get started. If your dog won't let you do this, <laughs> you can't trim his nail. I cannot trim that dog's nail if I can't touch his paw. Yep. Good boy. So that's where we're gonna start. 
we'll have future installments um, on how to progress with this, but it might take me a week to get Schooner used to me touching that paw. It's fine with this one. Yep. And when you can, I want you to work on the back paw too. Yep. The backs are sometimes easier. Um, on a dog that's not so big. Yep. It's a lot easier to do. Yep. So he has no trouble with the backs. Just that, just this funky right paw. I don't know why today. But anyway, that's how you get started. So it's super high value treats, nice comfy bed, dogs free to leave, and um, you go at their pace. And we're not forcing him to do anything. So um, hopefully in, in, in no time at all, your dog will be happy having its feet handled. And then it, you can progress to nail trims a whole lot easier. So we'll get into nail trims soon, but first we have to get him comfortable with having his feet handled. For more fast, fun, and easy dog training tips, visit SmartDogUniversity.com. Please leave a comment below and click subscribe to get future videos.